Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to another day of beekeeping. So part of our routine when we're inspecting is looking for disease. Um, predominantly we're looking for the more nasty diseases, um, European fowl brood and American fowl brood. Uh, and we certainly don't expect to see those. Uh, but on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, what we will see is chalk brood, sack brood and bald brood. And those, whilst they're not uh, a severe problem for the bees, are something that you need to be aware of and be able to manage. And if they become an issue, then you need to be able to take some action to help the bees uh, recover from it. So today we're going to suit up go and have a look at some of the bees behind me and if we encounter some of those problems uh, we'll get the video running and we'll be able to show you close up what those problems look like and then you'll be able to see uh, and take a look at your colonies, identify those, those problems and maybe take some action to help the bees become a healthier colony. Okay so we've uh, carried out a couple of inspections and didn't find anything but um, what we have here is chalk brood you can just see, I've switched the lenses and we've gone for a close-up, so I'm going to try to zoom in and show you exactly what it looks like. So there you can see several different stages of chalk brood. Okay, so I gave up uh, trying to talk and record video at the same time, so I'm going to just stick a little bit of audio on now. So chalk brood is caused by a fungal infection called Ascosphera apis. It gets ingested into the larvae where it then goes through the gut wall and basically absorbs all the nutrients which starves the larvae. Um, after a, a few days the, the larvae swells and uh, you can see in some of the video uh, the larvae at the early stage where it's uh, a large very white lump uh, that then dries out and you get the more traditional chalky black and white um, lump that falls out of the cells uh, normally the bees will drag that out and you may find that it's scattered around the floor if you've got an open mesh floor or in fact any floor um, all the bees can drag it out and you'll find a small pile outside the hive it's not normally uh, a big problem it is very infectious um, and you tend to to spot it more in the spring so if you have any colonies that have suffered with chalk brood and they die out over winter you really need to be um, shutting them down and removing the hives early because if not then bees will start robbing it out and transfer the chalk brood around. Um, it doesn't cause us any great problems. Uh, what we do um, tend to do if we have a problem like the, the colony that we, we're looking at here is that we'll requeen this colony uh, and hopefully uh, the new queen will be more resistant to the fungal infection. Um, uh, and that should help. Um, look out for any areas in your apiary where it may be damper than normal um, because the fungal uh, infection tends to prefer the, the damper areas. Um, but if you move them out of that it will help minimise any spread of the chalk brood. I hope that was of use for everybody. Um, please do leave comments below. Um, hit the like button and, and share if you would. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and we're going to put together some more videos in the near future. Hopefully find a little bit of sack brood and bald brood, uh, maybe some wax moth to show you, and uh, along with uh, a whole host of other videos uh, over the rest of this season. So um, look out for those and thanks very much for watching.